What you see here looks like an ordinary Windows desktop. And hey YouTube, it's been a while since I've posted something. And uh, hopefully this video is a little bit more interesting than what you've seen in the past. So, like I said, it look, this looks like an ordinary Windows desktop. But there's something special about this one. Look at the screen. Take a close look. That looks an awful lot like Mac OS X, doesn't it? Guess why? It is Mac OS X. I have turned my trusty gaming PC into a dual boot, Hackintosh, and Windows PC. Still sporting my 3.3 GHz Core i5 2500K, 8 gigs of Corsair XMS3 memory, and a Radeon 7770 video card, which are all detected and working just fine. The only issues I had with this Hackintosh were uh, the audio was not working, the Ethernet was not working, and I had a bug with the white screen on login. A white, bu white screen bug is still not resolved, but I have a workaround that works really well. And uh, it's pretty much fine with me. The whole system overall is very stable. Sound works like a charm right now. And I've got a whole bunch of software installed on this thing. I'm going to open Launchpad here. So I've got some, I've got a few games installed so I could test if the video cut was working properly. Uh, VMware Fusion. The Adobe CS5 Master Edition Suite or Master Collection, I must say. Uh, Mac Tracker C Cleaner, you know, regular stuff. A Mac CPU ID so I could verify everything that's being detected properly. As you can see, Core 5, 2400K CPU, 3.3 GHz, currently not running overclocked at all. Which is fine with me, really. It does work with overclock just fine. But I have no use for that at the moment. Unless I'm really going to uh, use Adobe Premiere Pro. But uh, I'm not really looking uh, into doing that all that much. Because I seem to prefer iMovie HD a little bit more than uh, Premiere. But uh, that's just a personal preference. Also got Office 2011 on here. Just open a regular Word document. That's uh, what Word 2011 on the Mac looks like, in case you're wondering. See, it looks fine. Yeah, 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 got it. We can close that. No, don't want to save this. Thank you very much. <coughs> of course, we have Safari on here. You can switch to full screen so we can put it up in dashboard. There we go. I have Safari running full screen on my 1080p screen, which is also being detected by Mac OS X just fine. There we go. G2220HD, monitor made by Ben Q. It's full HD. This is the fun part. It's actually being detected as a 20 and a half inch iMac from mid 2011. This thing is actually a lot better equipped. And I'm talking about my PC, not the iMac. Uh, just the disks in my system. One terabyte for my storage on Windows. It, uh, it's currently under my one terabyte Western Digital Green Drive, which is my test drive for these kind of purposes. Because it had some issues with the right head in the past, although it does seem to have resolved itself, sort of. Ah oh, well, you won't hear me complaining about that, that's for sure. So there's not really much to show you on Safari anyway. I've actually made the intro to this video uh, in Adobe After Effects. Hopefully people like it, it's just, you know, a short one, I just wanted to do another intro. First I made a logo in uh, Photoshop, and then I just started editing it, and it turned into my intro using After Effects. Just some experimenting. Hopefully you people sort of like it, so. So this is the original logo I started working with. That's what turned into my uh, intro, so. Let's see. Oh yeah, right. I also have Steam running on here. 
know, as a demonstration, people always say, you cannot game on a Mac. Well, I think I'm about to prove you otherwise. Because I have Borderlands 2 on here, which runs fine. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, let's just play Borderlands 2. That's a good example. Launch game. Let's just wait a while for it to load. No shit, Sherlock. Press any key. Borderlands 2, running on a Mac. Well, sort of. This would technically be an iHack. <laughs> Instead of an iMac. I would prefer a Hack Pro, but it's just being detected as, a, as an iMac, so... I've only ran the game to test it out to see if the frame rate was uh, somewhat uh, playable. And it turns out it's pretty much the same as in Windows, so... I guess that's a good thing. It means that software doesn't know matter all that much when everything is working at least. Alrighty. Let's head out and kill some things. Frame rate is very steady. Freely running like a champ. As expected, of course. Follow the claptrap. Get ready. Ah, the frostbite crevasse. There we go. Just sniping some bully mongs. <laughs> oh dear. Let's kill these fuckers. I think I should be looking at my screen rather than at the camera. Let's try to make a headshot on that thing. There we go. It's really running like a champ. I have absolutely no complaints. We. I am satisfied with the performance on this thing. <laughs> Seeing what Microsoft is doing lately with Windows 8 and the way they're going in the future, eh, makes it pretty obvious for me to stop uh, bothering with Windows and starting to learn other systems like Linux and Mac. It has its advantages, trust me. Because I just don't want my operating system to go tablet mode like Windows 8 is doing right now. And uh, Mac OS X is, you know, has proven to me already that it's really a good Windows replacement. The only thing I have to give up is pretty much 50, 50 to 75% of the games that I own, but, you know, I can live with that. Gaming isn't all that important anymore to me, since I'm so busy with university these days, that I just, you know, it's good enough to dabble with the systems and that's fun, and everything else is just school related, so... You know, I'm perfectly fine with it, and I just seem to have fallen in love with the Mac operating system. 
but yeah, all in all, I'm just really satisfied that this thing is actually working right now, and I have Hackintosh running stably, and, you know, it performs like a champ, even on a high drive. I like to see Windows do that. I know Windows 8 is not really a problem there, but, you know, XP, Vista, 7 are all really dependent on what type of disk you have. Especially Windows 7, it slows down really quickly on a full hard drive, that's what I've noticed. Mac does not really seem to be affected that much, just in boot time, not in, you know, overall usability and performance in the operating system itself. So I guess that's a good thing. But uh, I just don't want to uh, make this video any longer than necessary. I've already uh, been rambling about too much, I think. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video on how I turned my Windows PC into a Hackintosh. And, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching.